Welcome back. The Nigerian army is assuring the nation of its readiness to overcome all forms of insecurity. The chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Toko Borutai, stated this in Katsina State during a ceremony to operationalize the newly established 17th Brigade, Brigade of the Nigerian Army. He's also assuring of readiness to protect the lives and property and overcome all forms of insecurity in the country with support from Nigerians. Guards of Honor, welcoming the Katsina State Governor to the operationalization ceremony of the 17th Brigade Nigerian Army. Boots have been returned. The establishment of this unit, a component of the 8th Division Nigerian Army, is coming at a time when security is a major issue in the country. Let me use this the Chief of Army Staff explains the purpose of the subdivision at this event, which is well attended by notable persons and military top brass. This is Jamen to curb the prevalent security challenges in the state, the Northwest Geographical Zone, and indeed Nigeria at large. The chief host in the state, who appreciates this move, also gives some advice on intelligence gathering. Efforts should be doubled in the area of gathering information with regard to movement of people who are not normally resident or habiting, habiting those particular localities. I think this will help the security agencies to perform their duties. The building which will house the operations of the 17th Brigade is officially commissioned by the governor. And with this launch, armed herders, terrorists, and other elements that might pose a threat to the nation's security now have one more reason, or maybe 17 more, to abandon crime. Finally, Nigeria Customs is tightening the noose around the ports and borders and increasing its anti-smuggling operations across the country. Fake pharmaceuticals and hundreds of bags of rice totaling close to 500 million naira in value were seized in River State, the controller, Port Harcourt, Port Harcourt 2 Area Command, controller Abubakar Bashir, mentioned this during a, an inspection of seized contraband goods. Meanwhile, the Ogun State Command says it's impounded in smuggled goods seized along the border towns across the state worth over 205 million naira. It appears the Nigerian Customs Service is not ready to rest until smuggling operations in the country are ended. In River State, a team of customs officials is out to inspect the contraband goods, including bags of rice worth 500 million naira and fake pharmaceuticals that were captured. The state controller Abubakar Bashir gives record of the success so far. The total duty paid value of the seizure of pharmaceutical amounts to 395.1 million naira. We are particularly delighted by this seizure because we recognize the harmful effect they have, they have, especially on our youth, on substance abuse. In a good state, the customs impounded smuggled goods around the border town, including a brand new 2018 model of Range Rover. A state controller said it will no longer be business as usual. We intercepted this vehicle. By the time they saw the officers, others have positioned themselves in different locations, the federal operation officers and the resident officers. They saw us and they attacked our boys that are on their side where the vehicle arrived. They started using machete and axe <clears throat> on my officer. Unfortunately, we fired the gun and we got a target. Two people were wounded. The Nigerian Customs Service insists that it has the capability to end smuggling in the country in no distant time. And that's where we'll call it a day for this edition of News Across Nigeria. Thanks for watching. I'm Ulumide Mukoli.